OK, so I'm going to look to submit now from the mount. And as I've already got this strong burrito control, OK, with the arm across, I'm going to perfect position to go for it from here. Um, so what I'm going to look at to do, well, right now I'm trying to compress both sides of the neck on the carotid arteries to apply the strangle, OK? So what I need to do, my arm is already uh, with the, the inside of my bicep compressed against the side of the neck, leaving no space there. When I force this across to the burrito control, okay, the ball of the shoulder is pressing into the side of his neck. Now I just need to position myself in a way where I can start to further drive the shoulder into the side of his neck. And the best way to do that, um, I find personally, is to start to expose his back slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna come off and just hold the grips for the purpose of control. I windshield wipe it over. I'm just gonna flick his hips away. Okay, so I drag my foot from the side of his hip down behind his knee, okay, so that I can expose the back slightly. And this will then start to drive the shoulder even deeper into the side of his neck. So I've windshield wiper off, my foot is flaring here. I'm just going to bring down my knee as a wedge underneath his spine here. Okay, so I bring my knee underneath, so it's hard for him to fully connect his back to the mat. So there's still a bit of a lip, they'll further drive this in. I keep my control. So my, my wrap around, okay? And rather than um, just trying to squeeze from here, I'm gonna grab the actual shoulder, so grab the ball of the shoulder and press it into the side of his neck. So it's very like shoulder, hand, grab, and force, okay? Like a caveman, okay? But I wanna know exactly where the shoulder's going and ensuring that it goes into the side of his neck. So I'm just gonna actually hold it to really get sensitivity to where it is. Okay, so I can just push it further in and I'm gonna try and get my chest to the other side of his back, here, okay? If I feel like there's not enough pressure on the other side with this arm, I'm gonna hold the shoulder and just walk my hand in even tighter, okay? So I can make sure there's no space. If there's any space, it's just gonna turn into me using my strength. And if I'm not very strong, which I'm not, um, I don't wanna be relying on the strength of my squeeze, in particular against bigger opponents, okay? So I walk through and make sure everything is accurate. I bring my chest nice and low and kind of like a happy cat movement and go underneath, connect my hands and then keeping this knee pressed against his back, I'm going to sprawl this hip to the mat. So I hold and I sprawl. To finish, okay, so as I sprawl down to the mat here, I kind of turn my chest up to face him. Okay, so I'm turning in and toward. The biggest detail I found in, in applying the squeeze has been helpful for me, okay? It's when I'm here, I get my positioning right. I'm gonna drag this elbow up the mat and at the same time, I drag the inside arm down. Okay, so kind of like a steering wheel. I don't drive, so I'm pretty sure you don't do this in a car, but in the direction of a steering wheel, I bring my elbow up and my far elbow down. So this will mean that this side will squeeze tighter to the side of his neck and this will drag the shoulder as I pull up further into the side of his neck for a nice tight squeeze. So I've walked through, tightened up my control, chest the other side. I connect my hands now. I sink my hips down, keeping the knee underneath his back. And now I'm going to drag my elbow up and the other down. Okay, so I'm here. I make sure it's nice and tight. Walk through. Head goes down, I sink my hips and lift my elbow. Okay, so from the beginning, I'm in the mount, okay? I've successfully brought his arm across for the burrito control. Now I'm in a perfect position to look to attack with the head and arm, okay? Everything is wrapped up and ready. So I walk nice and tight, head on the other side. I'm gonna connect my hands just to uh, switch over. So I bring my foot up, switch to the other side, flick the hips away. Now to replace the, the, um, the, the drive in this direction, I'm going to bring my knee underneath his back to keep him going this direction. Okay? I grab his shoulder, force it up and try and get my chest on the other side so I can keep driving in this direction and exposing his back. I hold the shoulder itself walk my arm tight so there's no space, lower my head, 
connect my hands and then just sink my hip, my far hip down to the mat, keeping my other knee up, okay, and dragging my elbow up the mat. 